मेरा नाम शंकर सिंह है मैं बाड़मेर राजस्थान के ग्रामीण इलाके का रहने वाला हूँ आज से साल भर पहले मेरे बच्चे का एक्सीडेंट हुआ था और उसको गुजरात के अहमदाबाद में भर्ती करवाया था वहाँ पे हेड इंजरी तो अच्छा हो गया उसके बाद उसको सांस लेने में तकलीफ हुआ तो अहमदाबाद में पता किया तो उधर कोई ऐसा डॉक्टर गारंटी नहीं दिया कि भाई इसका इलाज सही हो जाएगा तो जब पता किया तो उधर के अभी बेंगलोर के अंदर ए वी रमन सर करके डॉक्टर साहब है कि वो अच्छा इलाज करते हैं तो यहाँ आया उसके बाद मणिपाल का भी पता चला कि अभी ए वी रमन सर यहाँ आया अच्छा इलाज करते हैं उसके बाद हमारा दो विजिट हो गया इसका अच्छा इलाज हो गया मैं बहुत खुश हूँ नमस्ते नसर वसंत लक्ष्मी नम मगु हूँ पुनीत कुमार ना दसपड़ा दिन बंदी ना तुम बड़व नम कष्ट अर्थमको इले राम सर नमें तुम हेल्पर नम मगु तुम आरोग्य समस्या अद्वन नोड़ इलीगे मूरन सत्ती नाक नमें तुम कष्ट सहाय नम चिकित्से नरेंग मलेशिया उ प्रॉब्लम आगे सफर मे तुम हास्पिटल तोर्स सर चिकित्से लास्टे मणिपाल हास्पिटल बैंगलूर इ वि रमन सर अंत एंटी सर्जन और मुखातर नमें मगु चिकित्से नेर नम हर वो रूपये दुड कटिस स्वंत इन मगुन उल्सकोता है फैनली लास्ट टू इयर्स ना रेग्युल वर्कशाप अदर मणिपाल हास्पिटल तोर्स प्रिफर सर्जन इंदिरा गांधी हास्पिटल बंद राम सर ना मीटा फिस्टी लास्ट टू डेस् बैक आप्रेशन मैं मग क्यूर आगे वेरी हापी सर सर तुम नमस्कार ना नरसीपुर जिले बंदी नमेंगे मणिपाल हास्पिटल के अडवैस राम सर भेटी माती नम कई बल्ता आप्रेशन सक्सस् आगे क्यूर आगे नमें आप्रेशन अस्ु शक्ति राम सर हेल्पर मगुन तक बनी ना नोड़ी फ्री आगे नोड़ सर मगुजे इम सर मन पर हास्पी फ्री आगे 
हमको बुलाया मिस्टर के वी रामन सर ने डेली से इज द प्रिकॉशनी एंड सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स हमारे डॉक्टर ने के वी रामन सर के पास भेजा डेली से हम यहाँ आए और अपने बेबी के ट्रीटमेंट के लिए वे वेरी हैप्पी दे आर डूइंग वेरी गुड थिंग्स बहुत अच्छे से उन्होंने देखा है और आगे भी बहुत अच्छा इसका इलाज हो थैंक यू ना हूँ रूप श्री अंत ना के एस बंद ना मगल फस्टू उसी तौंद मणिपाल हास्पिटल रमन सर हर तोर्सद मेले मदद और वॉस बर्ती है वॉस बर्ता है चेना आप्रेशन मेले सक्सस् ना के एस बंद नम मगल के हर्षिता अंत रमन सर हर बंद आप्रेशन मेले सक्सस् मणिपाल हास्पिटल रमन सर वॉस बर्ती है मतलब वॉस बर्ती I am Dr. Raman. I am uh, belong to the department of ENT Head and Neck Surgery of Manipal Hospital. I happen to be the head of the Children's Airway and Swallowing Center in Manipal Hospital. In the recent past, uh, in the last four days, uh, we have done some uh, really uh, fantastic work, if uh, I may say so myself, in the sense. to alleviate the suffering of children from india and abroad who have come to us as you know because of better antenatal facilities better neonatal facilities better intensive care a lot of children with multiple problems survive because of the advancement of medicine and better nursing care now these children sometimes are kept alive in the uh, intensive care units supported by respiratory support where they are intubated and they are on ventilatory support all these interventions plus if they have any congenital problems they have an issue of uh, swallowing and breathing these are the essential things which we need to stay alive and these children cannot be sent home unless we allow them to breathe and swallow normally because of the use of the ventilator and intubation or due to post surgical complications they they end up with a narrow airway or when they swallow the um, food contents tends to go into the lungs all these things are very dangerous for life and the solutions for this comes from an interdisciplinary group we are fortunate in manipal hospital to have an interdisciplinary group which includes the intensivists both pediatric and neonatal then we have um, therapists then we have pediatric surgeons and um, pediatric gastroenterologists etc all getting together along with the anesthetists and led by the ent group which uh, tries to alleviate this suffering we have been doing this work for the last 23 years and we decided on the way that most of these children cannot afford the treatment because the parents have already spent on long periods of hospitalization they spent on surgeries and hence they don't have any money left to pay for these things and as you know intensive care costs a lot of money to maintain because at least 3 to 4 nurses are required per bed for a 24 hour coverage apart from the expensive equipment that is used so we decided that we are going to try to see whether we can subsidize or make the treatment free 
So first thing we did was, instead of firing the gun of charity from others, we will ourselves not take any fees. So me and my whole team doesn't charge any professional fees. Then we requested the hospital to give free or subsidized beds, which they've been doing. And we do these surgeries totally free of cost. But in spite of that, there's a large bill because of the medicines and other expendables which is used. So I have personally collected money, put it in the Manipal Foundation so that they know exactly what I'm doing. And with that money, I've been covering the medical expenses for these children. In fact, last year we've spent between 55 to 60 lakhs. And this year, recently, in the last four days, we have operated on about 11 children. They are all high-end operations. And we keep doing this continuously. The children who come to us come from Indira Gandhi Institute of Child Health, from Jayadeva Hospital, and other parts of Karnataka. Besides this, we also get children from other states of India, Nepal, Bangladesh, um, uh, Oman, uh, Ethiopia, and Sri Lanka, and far away places like Jamshedpur, and one of the children now we operated two days back has come from the indo pak border in Barmer district of Rajasthan. So now what is happening? The demands on us are increasing. The complexity of the surgeries are increasing. We realize we cannot be the only center in India. We need multiple centers. So we started training other surgeons and other specialities, improving interdisciplinary communication between various specialties, um, which could be intensive care, pediatrics, neonatology, um, anesthesia, etc. All these things. So we, our aim is to one, to do free surgery, two, to train other Indian doctors, to improve interdisciplinary communication, and to create a fund to support these children. And fortunately, God has been kind, so we've been doing this. Every two years, we have an international meet where we have a collaboration with uh, the uh, two main centers in the world in airway surgery. One is the University of Cincinnati and University of Lausanne in Switzerland. Besides that, other people in the Children's Hospital from Baylor School of Medicine, Tex Houston, Texas, Perth, Australia, Singapore, and um, some other countries have been visiting us to tackle difficult cases. So it's been a wonderful journey till now, and uh, our patients hopefully are breathing much easily and swallowing, and we are trying to do this to all the patients. We tell them, don't worry about the money. We will try and do our best to um, alleviate the suffering of your children. It's, and we should thank Manipal Hospital because I think this is a kind of case of what we keep, of a cliche we keep talking about, that is private-public partnerships. People of my generation who went to government schools paid about 15 rupees per month for my medical education, 30 rupees per month for my uh, post-graduation, we owe it, some taxpayer paid for us, so we owe it back to the community. So if Manipal Hospital wants to get closer to the community, this was one way of doing it. And if some of us as professionals want to contribute back and then collaborate with public institutions like Jayadeva and Indra Gandhi Hospital, here it's a unique case where private uh, enterprise helps in, in this term, private skills augment uh, the um, desires of the government and this is an excellent uh, case for public-private partnership. Thirdly, also we um, uh, are trying, the government cannot get into this area. They are more concerned about epidemics like or uh, diseases which are prevalent in large numbers like tuberculosis, polio or um, uh, malaria and dengue etc. So this is a small dedicated group and I thank Manipal Hospital which has helped us incubate this center of excellence. It is world class and given at below third world prices and reaching the targeted population and training other doctors hopefully in other parts of the of India with the best faculty in the world. I thank them for that.